Hello everybody, um, welcome to our assembly. It's in my office today, which is a bit weird, but it's really lovely to be with you again. I'm going to talk today about our friends. How important are our friends? What is it that you like doing the most? For me, it's going for a nice long walk in the countryside, or watching a good film, or playing tennis. All of those things I enjoy so much more when I do them with my friends. Friends are really important. And I know I'm not just talking about people because when I talk to children about their pets, I can tell how much they love them and how special they are to them. And they're just like more friends, really. I'm going to read an acrostic poem by Jan Edmonds that I've changed a little bit. Um, to help us think about how important our friends are. An acrostic poem is where the first letter of each line <coughs> spells out the important word that the poem's about. F is for faithful. Friends are loyal to the end. R is reliable. They're true and don't pretend. I is for interested in sharing thoughts with you. E is for enjoyment in everything you do. N is for neighbourly. They're kind in every way. D is dependable every single day. S is for that special friend you know is always there for all the times you laugh and cry and dance and play and share. Why don't you pause the video or even play it again? Think about each of those words and a time when you or a friend have acted in that way. What's really special about your friend? How are they good at being a friend? How are you good at being a friend? At the moment, it's a bit sad because we can't always see our friends properly. We have found lots of ways to stay in touch and stay connected uh, using FaceTime, telephone calls, Zoom, and in school, Padlet and Seesaw, which is great because we can see what you've been doing at home, and sometimes we can share it with our friends. What I'd like you to do is think of a really creative way you can stay in touch with a friend today. You could draw a picture of a really special memory that you both have and send it to them. Wouldn't that be lovely? You could even try to write an acrostic poem like the one I read out. That's what mine looks like. Or if you fancy doing something a little bit different, I found this online. I think it looks really good. It's got the friend's name in the middle and some special words that describe the friend around the outside. Imagine how you would feel if somebody sent you something like that. We're just going to end our assembly today with a prayer. Now a prayer is where we share our thoughts and talk to God. People who believe in God think that God is listening and will uh, hear us. Even if you don't believe that, you can still take part and listen really carefully to the words and what they mean to you. And if you want to make it your prayer, we say, Amen, at the end. Dear God, we thank you for our friends and the happy times that we share with them. Help us to be a good friend to them. During this time, when we can't play with our friends, Please help us to find creative ways to keep in touch. 
Thank you that you are our friend and will be with us always. Amen. Okay, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.